Dolce & Gabbana by Man is a really famous fragrance from 1997, now discontinued, hard to get, very expensive if you can find it. That got me thinking, I wish Dua Fragrances would copy this one. And then I thought, why don't I do a video on the top five fragrances I'd like Dua to clone? I don't need green Irish tweed For a Ventus I have no need d and G has beaten Creed It's by man, I'm in love You can keep your Roger Dove Surge off doesn't deserve my love Amorage, oh heavens above It's by man, I'm in love your Sauvage, no thanks Chanel's always firing blanks But Byman's money in the bank I don't care if Tom Ford's sad If this song makes Kirk John mad This is the fragrance they wish they had It's Byman, I'm in love Okay, so today we're going to be talking about my top five fragrances I would like Dua fragrances to clone. And uh, one of them they already did, Bois de Portugal by Creed. They do a lot of uh, clones of niche houses where they uh, give you a 30ml bottle, usually around about the $45 mark. I know not everyone thinks that's a great deal, but I have to say the ones they've sent me, the clones are very good. They're a little bit better than the cheapo ones that you can buy that are sort of, you know, the Club de Nuit Intense Man type stuff. There is a noticeable difference to me in quality of the smell and closeness. The original Royal Portugal is their take on this one. Very, very good copy. It's not identical, but it's very, very close. It's just maybe a little bit more green and sharp, but it's an excellent copy. I have a, a tried Lalique. Um, pour on eau de parfum which is supposed to smell like Bois de Portugal this is way better to me because that one doesn't quite have all the magic of Bois de Portugal this one very very close great performance as does the original and uh, I really like that one so that one's really impressed me as have a couple of their other clones that they've sent me they've sent me quite a few fragrances their Silver Mountain Water one Water of Arabia is excellent just a little bit more citrusy I think and with less of the inky tea feel than the original Silver Mountain Water, but very, very close to it. Very good performance, much, actually, well, I think better performance than Silver Mountain Water. I've worn quite a bit of it, as you can see there. And yeah, I do find that really impressive. I can see the point, though, that their fragrances are not that cheap, and you could almost buy decants of the original, or if you bought a, you know, a really cheap 120 mil discounted bottle online, it's almost the same per mil. So I can see why some people have reservations. Imperial Pastique, their take on Millicent Imperial, again, I found that it performs really well and it has a very, very close smell to the original fragrance by Creed. Better than things like Sean John Unforgivable, definitely to me. It really has that X factor of the original fragrance. Another one they sent me was Evening with the Mobster. Supposed to be like Roger Dove's Creation E, or otherwise known as Enigma. Not hugely familiar, have tried that once or twice. This is a really nice, sweet, tobacco, boozy kind of fragrance. I do really like this uh, one from Dua as well, but I can't really comment on the similarity with the original Roger Dove one. Next up then, what do I want them to copy? First of all, it's got to be Dolce & Gabbana's By Man. First released in 1997, it's sort of a barbershop scent. It's really, really famous. Didn't last very long on the shelves. Discontinued. Very hard to find out. Very expensive. This is where people like Dua come into their own. Obviously, my invitation here is open to any other clone house who wants to make some of these fragrances. That would be great. There are others. Alexandria fragrances, of course. And some of the cheaper people, the Armafs and the Al Haramains. If any of them could do this, it would be great. Dolce & Gabbana by Man has this almost legendary fragrance. It's got Artemisia and Lavender as two of the key notes in there. A little bit like John Paul Gaultier's Le Mal. 
Uh, it's got a really nice citrus opening, some spiciness and woodiness in there. I have got a cheap clone that we can see coming in here, which is by Perfume Parlor. I've snazzed it up with my own little sticker there, and it's actually not bad, but it feels a little bit like one of these cheaper clones. So it's like your Club de Nuit Intense Man level of cloning, not quite there, but really good. So by Man, legendary, hard to get, love to see. Um, do a fragrances, do a clone of that one because I think they might do a really good job. Here's another one then, and this is La Nuit de l'Homme, of course, by Yves Saint Laurent, and let's hope they could copy the vintage version. The old one of this then back in, this is a 2012 bottle, it's a couple of different reformulations, but this is better than the one you get now, it's a little bit stronger and richer. It's a really nice, a warm, spicy, sweet fragrance with some cardamom, some lab lavender, there's some vetiver in the base, there's bergamot in the opening. It's very, very approachable, huggable, modern smelling scent. I really do like this one quite a bit. It's not one of my absolute favorites, but I like it. And everyone knows the modern version has really poor performance. So if Dua could copy this, get it back to the original level, perhaps even more so like a beast mode version because they do tend to have really high concentration of oil in their fragrances. I think that would be a really, really successful fragrance for them. I'm sure a lot of us in the fragrance community would be really happy if they could come out with a version of that. Next up then, I would really like to see them or any other fragrance clone house that can do a good job. Give us a version of vintage Ralph Lauren Polo, otherwise known as Polo Green. This fragrance is a classic masculine Chypre fragrance. Uh, the, one of the key features here is oak moss. Yeah, we've also got a lot of lovely herbal notes. I think there's basil and that kind of stuff in the top. There's a little bit of a tobacco twist in there and a certain leatheriness. Very, very masculine, very green, mossy, almost a, a bit like a fougere fragrance, somewhere between fougere and chypre, and an absolute classic fragrance. I know Dua do a version of Italian Cypress by Tom Ford, which is meant to be similar to this, but I'd love to, to see them tackle this one and give us something closer to the vintage original. Today's modern version which I also do have isn't quite as good as to me and it's, it's one where the reformulation really hasn't worked out too well not sure about my bottles here I know it's supposed to say Cosme on the bottom mine don't the one with the lid there is an aftershave and the other one is a tester of the eau de toilette toilette I can tell you for sure they smell a hell of a lot better than today's version so they must be some kind of vintage but it doesn't seem to have the signs that um, we normally look for for the Cosme version and the, the top bit being different to the bottom bit weird there but anyway really really great kind of beast mode masculine old school Chypre fragrance I would love to see a Dua fragrances version of let's hope they can do it here's one that's a little bit like what they already do a bit more so like what they're already doing they've done a lot of Zerzhov ones I would love to see 1861 Renaissance covered by them uh, I really love this fragrance it's a classic citrus aromatic fragrance very very realistic lemon and lime and bergamot and orange notes a little bit of mint in there and some lovely woodiness in the base absolutely beautiful citrus fresh fragrance kind of modern smelling it's not an old school cologne or anything it's, it's modern it's beautiful I know they've done a great version apparently of the uh, Zerzhov Neo so it'd be interesting to see what they could do with 1861 Renaissance. I find this one had to have reasonably good performance, but I know some people lament that it's not as good as it could be. So if maybe Dua Fragrances could have a go at this one and maybe give us a, a beast mode version of this one, uh, I think that would be really interesting. I'd be surprised if this wasn't if this one wasn't already in the pipeline from them. I bet they're thinking about it, and I, it would be very interesting if they did a version of this one. I'd also love to try their version of Neo. I've seen a couple of good reviews online of that one. The next one that I'd be really keen to see a Dua Fragrances um, remake of would be the discontinued Dolce & Gabbana Pour Homme. Sorry to give you two Dolce & Gabbana ones, but this would be great to see and or rather to smell. I guess where Dua Fragrances really come into their own is stuff that you just can't get at or with great difficulty only anymore. So their prices are not super cheap it's not like a no-brainer grabbing a 20 pound cheap clone they need to smell really good or they need to be well and they need to be maybe bringing us something that we can't easily get okay so things like discontinued designer fragrances are where they really come into their own i think as well as extremely expensive niche stuff where even though they're not cheap they're still giving us better value 
Dolce & Gabbana Pour Homme, the classic designer scent from 1994, the old made in Italy version is widely regarded as much better than the modern one. It's got some great citrus in the opening, it's got a little bit of lavender, it's a kind of an aromatic fougere but a modern twist or at least it was modern at the time. Some herbal notes, I think there's some sage in there and there's a little bit of a twist of a fresh tobacco essence in this one as well. It would be really interesting if Dua Fragrance is, could give us a beast mode fragrance, uh, could give us a beast mode rendition of what was already a reasonable performer, but they could make it maybe even stronger and bring it back to its former glory, maybe. And I would love to smell that one. So let's see what uh, Dua Fragrance has come up with next. I, they're always coming out with new stuff. I know not everyone really likes this house, and I can completely see the reservations. I'm not a happy clapper or in cahoots with them. I can see that they're not super cheap. But they've sent me quite a few fragrances and some of the clones I have found to be very good and a little bit better than the cheapo stuff out there. Let me know what you think about the house. Have you tried any of their fragrances? These are some of the ones I'd love to see them give us a remake of. Let's hope they can do it. Now remember, whatever you're doing in life, let's project and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.